Hello everyone, my name is Sahal and today we will learn updatable BAQ. If you don't know what is BAQ, please uh, check the another video, a link in the description and uh, in that video I explained what is BAQ and how to create the BAQ. BAQ means simply we can fetch the data from the database and show to the users, right? So updatable BAQ means that data we can update on same, same time in the database through BPM. So we will start how to create updatable BAQ. First of all, we need to create BAQ. So I am giving the example EX updatable, updatable BAQ. Yes, I am giving the description. Then these options you already know shared all companies. Here there is a new option we need to uh, click on that. This is updatable. If your BAQ is updatable, you need to click on this updatable. When you clicking on this, the BPM is enabled for this BAQ. Okay, so click on the updatable BAQ checkbox and click on save button. Okay, so updatable BAQ is showing some error that updatable business object and model are not properly specified, right? So we need to specify all the things and then we will click on the save button. Okay, go to the query builder. I am taking face build. I am taking the employee or maybe customer table. Drag and drop this table. Then we will go to the display fields and uh, select the particular fields which we need to show and update that field. Okay, so I am selecting company, customer ID, customer name, name, then address 123, city, then resale ID, and uh, this is okay. Now I am taking the fields which I need to update. So blacklist one and cancel one. So this is the fields I need to update go to the next tab update here we need to select that updatable field which one we will go we will going to update that field so I'm taking this one and this one okay and this is not a mandatory so I'm not touching in this field and here updatable query setting there is a allow multiple row update it, it will give you multiple row update means once in uh, in one time you can update multiple rows okay then we need to go to the another tab uh, update processing here we already know that we are taking the bpm update so we need to click on the business objects and we need to select this adapter erp customer then click on ok it will show this customer okay now we need to go to the analyze and select on the analyze button uh, click on the analyze button syntax is okay then here if you see the test button is disabled because we are not just fetching the data from the database we are updating the database okay so we need to click on this get list for the updatable query click on the get list button it will show this operation may cause the data update in the database continue yes it will fetch all the data which is available into the database okay and see there is a uh, some columns we fetched for uh, updatable uh, blacklist and cancel so I need to give the blacklist for this guy which is C 4 times 0 6 I'm clicking on double click on this field it, it will show like this click on blacklist and click on ok now you uh, it a row will be highlighted okay and we have given the multiple row update in one so I'm giving this one also click on the cancel click on this okay now click on the update button click on update button yes it will update the date uh, this row into the database okay now if we can click on the analyze button again and then get list yes it will come like this okay triple zero six four times zero six it is blacklist and this cancelled okay so this is the updatable baq this baq is used to create a updatable dashboard 
so that end user can update the database or particular field on the daily basis through the dashboard in next session we will create updatable dashboard with this updatable BAQ and then we will attach into the menu maintenance. I hope you understand. Thank you so much.